Hello, and welcome to today's tutorial about a Linux program called Screen. Now, Screen fixes two problems for me. The first problem I have is sometimes you're logged into a, a Linux server, uh, running some code or running some program, and you want to make sure that program finishes correctly and doesn't, um, say your internet dies, and if your internet dies, chances are that program will stop running and not finish correctly. So Screen helps with that. The other area that many times I run into is I'm behind a corporate, my Linux servers are behind a corporate VPN account. So you connect to the VPN server, then you SSH into the server, then you, if you run a program and the timeout of the VPN connection times out, then you're disconnected from that session and chances are your program didn't finish. So screen is what helps fix that problem. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do, let's connect to this remote server. And I'm going to do that over here too. And I'm going to run this quick command that's just going to give me the process ID or the PID of this session. And the reason I want this is I'm going to actually kill this PID why a program is running to simulate my internet dying. Okay, so that's the first thing we want to do is install screen. And I'm going to install something called bpython, which is just basically a better Python prompt that has autocomplete and some other tools. It'll, it'll show you documentation as you're typing stuff in. It's actually a really nice teaching tool as well. Okay. The other thing the screen fixes for me is helping people learn and teach and pair program. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute after we do some basic screen commands. So screen is already installed. So I just type in screen, tell you a little bit about it, who made it, just hit enter. And now you're on this prompt, but now it's wrapped in the screen session. So that's actually, so this session can die and you can always come back to it. That's what's really nice. So if you're ever on an internet connection that you think is really flaky, you can log into the Linux server, immediately run screen, and you know whatever you were doing will always be there as soon as your internet connection comes back. So let's load up vPython. You can do import time. And you can see it has autocomplete and some other nice features. We're gonna assign x to one. And we're going to just write this super simple program that's going to run in a loop. And we're going to add 1 to x each time. And we're going to just say the value of x is currently. And as you can see, as soon as I type this bracket here, bpython will tell you the documentation, which is actually really nice. So like str means I'm going to convert this x to a string. And it actually says returns a nice string representation of the object. So just do x. And we're going to do a sleep here so it doesn't go super, super fast um, and use tons of CPU cycles. So make sure you use uh, a sleep if you're going to write any while loops that don't finish like this. And there you go. Now you have a program running in a loop remotely inside a screen session. Now so this over here is another terminal connected to the same remote server. And what I'm going to do is do sudo kill this PID. So this is the PID of my SSH session, the process ID. And as soon as I hit enter and type in the password, this session's going to die. And you can see we'll end it on, as soon as it hits 15, we'll end it. And there you go. Just like that, I got kicked off the server. This basically simulated terrible internet. So this is what you'll see many times when uh, the internet connection dies, that you just got lost remote connection to the, to the server. So say an hour goes by or 20 minutes go by, your internet's working and you want to check on how your program's running. So we left it off on 15. 
So let's clear the screen. And now you want to do screen minus ls. And this will basically tell you which screen sessions are running on this user. And you can see here there's one screen session. It's currently detached, which means there's currently no one attached to it. There's two modes, detached and attached. So if there's only one session here, you can just do screen minus r and it's going to automatically attach back to the main session and our program will still be running. And there you go, our our loop is currently on 37. It did all the way through 15 through 37 before we reattached. And you can see all the output is still there. So that's what's really nice about um, about screen. That'll keep it running no matter if you have bad internet or say the VPN terminates your session. So the other way is if you know you want to just leave this program running and you want to say shut down your computer and go to a coffee shop or something where you're going to disconnect from this machine but you also want to keep it running. So to detach from the screen automatic or through the keyboard is just control A D. So you can see we left off on 51 there and we'll quit out of this terminal and I'll show you like we got all the way out of that terminal. I'm going to load up another one. Say this is like you leave, you come back, you log back into the server. You can do screen minus ls just to make sure there's only one. You can have multiple screen sessions running. So that's what's also nice. Um, if there's only one, you can do just screen minus r. And there you go. Our loop is still running. This is just part of bpython that showed up in the output. But you can see our loop is still running and it'll keep running forever inside screen. So you don't have to worry about disconnecting and reconnecting. Even if you just close this out on accident. Let's do that. And let's open up another terminal, connect back. And now our program's running again. So that's three different ways that you can detach from the session. You can Your internet goes out, the VPN dies, you get disconnected from the server automatically, you close it out on accident here, or you can just hit control A, D, and that'll actually detach from the session. Okay, so that alleviates the first problem I have sometimes managing remote system. The next thing is that many times I'm I have to teach people how to use the Linux terminal and programming and if you've ever used like TeamViewer or Google Hangouts or some other remote management tool like uh, screen sharing uh, chances are you've used it the quality is not very good uh, usually because the bandwidth bandwidth limitations um, so sometimes it's delayed so one user will be typing or like the the person that's com connected remotely will be delayed because of uh, the amount of time it takes to transfer all that. Screen fixes all that. Since it's a super lightweight Linux program, it really helps with instant, um, instant mirroring of what two sessions are doing. So we're going to quit out of this loop. I'm going to go all the way out and it says screen is terminating. So if you do screen minus ls, you'll see there's no screen sessions made here. So we're going to make a new one. And we're just going to leave it here. And this is logged into the same computer and the same user. And now we're going to do screen minus ls. And now instead of attaching with minus r, you don't want to use r minus r if someone's already attached. Because you'll actually screw it up. So make sure that you be careful on it being attached or not. Uh, you can look up how to detach it automatically through the man. If you just do man screen, there's a whole documentation on how to use screen. But I want to connect to this same session that's over here. So say this is a remote person that I'm teaching. And this is my session here. So I can just do screen minus x and then the the number of that screen session. Now this looks identical to this over here. Now say I'm teaching this person over here and this this is my session over here. 
as you can see, anything I type is going to show up on the other screen, and it's instant. There's no delay. And I know this is probably, um, this is all local on my network, but I've used this remotely, and it's instant on both sides, which is really nice. So there's no delay when you're programming. So like, say, I'm going to write this small test program. It's going to be a Python. And we're going to do x equals 1, y equals 1. And we're going to do uh, print the current value of x is uh, string x. The current value of y is Okay, we're going to paste this and now we're going to modify x and y. So here we're going to do something similar where I just did plus equals 1 and then we're going to do, let's do times equals 2 here and we're going to change this to 2. So basically this is going to say 1, this is going to say 2, then we're going to add 1 to 1, so this will be 2 here and this is going to be 2 times 2 and this is going to say 4 here. And you can see the entire time it's being mirrored over here. Now I can just immediately say to the person I'm teaching, okay quit VI and make this program executable and run it. So they can come over to their terminal and as soon as they start typing you can see that it's replicated over here. So it's replicated both ways. Many times on screen sharing, it's just one way. You, it's you know, it's you usually have to do. I give control to the person uh, that's remoted in. With screen, you always have control on both sides, which is actually really nice. So, say this is the remote user. We're going to write this file out. We're going to quit, clear the screen, change mod test 2py and let's run this. And just like that, you have one, two. Two, four. So that's how screen works and as soon as you're done you can just hit control D and it's going to quit out of both sides so you just want to make sure if one person quits it's going to quit for both so make sure you're both done uh, with your session and that's how to use screen and thanks for watching and please subscribe and check out my previous video on how to use LXC and IP tables. Talk to you soon.